anyone who follows me on social media, such as Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, would have noticed that I got a brand new set of Pro Markers. Now, I'm usually a pencil or paint guy, or digital guy. Uh, markers is tends to be sort of unfamiliar territory to me, so it was really exciting to receive these. Unfortunately, because of the amount of work that I was doing on my comic, it's been almost a week since I've had them and I hadn't actually been able to use them. But finally, I've got a chance. So here's me, I'm drawing Grey Silver from Chronicles of the Novus Avon, my webcomic. Uh, just having a quick sketch of him, seeing how these colours feel, how it feels to use the pens, how they appear, how they bleed, all that sort of thing. And, you know, just really having fun with them. Um, what I found was that they're a lot harder than I thought. Uh, I have had a few experiences with copy markers. I've got some grey ones which I've used during uh, Inktober before and copy markers are, are brilliant, super expensive but their brush tips are soft and I like that about them. Uh, with these pro markers the brush tips are not soft, they're quite harsh, quite scratchy. Uh, so it's a bit weird when you're trying to shade in and you're literally getting really pointed marks but then they do bleed quite a lot which is useful when you're colouring a large area and you want it all to blend in and look nice and flat but not so good when you're trying to keep nice neat edges and although I was doing this quite fast so I went over the edges a lot and stuff um, it did still bleed more than I wanted it to. Uh, the actual quality of the colours, the way they looked was brilliant, I, I, I've, I've seen them in the past because it was actually a student that I teach who advised me to look into them and try them out and I liked the way they looked um, on my students work and you know uh, I still like it now. Um, what I found though was that there was actually some mega bleed at the back, um, it goes right through my sketchbook page onto the opposite page as well so after I'm done with this page two other pages are taken out in the process which will be a bit expensive in the long run because it will mean that I'm using up way more sketchbook pages than I should be um, but uh, price you have to pay I guess uh, I'm gonna look into other papers that I can use but you know overall I think it should be good for the purpose which I bought it for which is actually for commissions I wanted to make some color commissions this uh, comic con um, in the past I've just done pencil ones and then I stopped for a while because I found that um, doing the pencil commissions was sort of eating into my time that I would use talking to customers uh, now though I'm, I'm thinking I want to have a go at it again um, my brothers and um, sister who helped me out with uh, Comic Con they are way more proficient at talking about my uh, merchandise than they were before so now I'm confident to get on with it and just leave them to do the talking while I get some commissions done so yeah I'm gonna give it a go again and really see how this works out but overall um, these these pro markers I'm, I'm happy with them I've got a big set 64 colors in total uh, and wait 64 I feel like it was more than 64. Yeah, we'll just go with 64. But yeah, um, it's, it's, it's a good range. I got a good price. And yeah, so I'm looking forward to sharing more of it with you. And if you're going to be at Comic Con and want a commission, feel free to stop by and let me know. And I'll draw anything you ask, simply put. So um, if anyone of you have had experience with these or want to talk about how they compare to Copic markers, uh, please feel free to comment below. I'd be very really interested in hear hearing. Also, if you have any tips on blending and things like that, because these actually don't blend that well, I find, uh, especially after I've dried the layer very well, but well, they don't blend very well. Um, if anyone has any any advice or tips on that, I'd be willing to hear it. It'd be great to hear it. And that's all for now. So until next time. <laughs>